Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my Gadget Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make bacon wrapped Swiss mushroom meatloaf and I'll be using my Ninja Foodie Grill. Okay, so let me tell you, I had to make this recipe two times because the first time I made it, let me tell you, this bacon, it was, okay, let's just say it was blackened bacon and not in a good way. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to make it and have everything turn out great. So first I started off by um, dicing half of an onion. Next, I minced four cloves of garlic and then I chopped up some cremini mushrooms. Next, I tossed the mushrooms and the onions in a skillet and I sauteed, uh, sauteed the veggies for a couple minutes and seasoned them with some salt and pepper. And then towards the end of the cooking, I added in the garlic and then I sat it to the side to cool. Next, I diced an eight ounce block of Swiss cheese. All right, let's get started on this meatloaf. So I've got two pounds of ground beef. I'm using lean ground beef. I've got some eggs, some milk, some Worcestershire sauce, some onion soup mix, some breadcrumbs, some ranch seasoning, some granulated onion, granulated garlic, and then finally the sauteed veggies. And I'm gonna mix all of that together and uh, just make sure you don't overmix the meatloaf. Just mix until everything comes together. And then once those ingredients have been incorporated, then it's time to add in half of the Swiss cheese. So now I'm spraying the air fryer basket with some olive oil just so nothing sticks and I'm taking about a half or maybe a little bit over half of the meatloaf mixture and I'm um, forming a little like well and that's where I'm going to place the cheese and then I'm going to take the remaining meatloaf mixture and spread that along the top and make sure I seal uh, where the top meets the bottom. Okay, let's preheat this Ninja. So I'm using the air crisp setting. I'm setting the temperature to 375 and I'm using a meat probe and I'm setting the probe to 160. Once the foodie is preheated, go ahead and add your meatloaf. This is where I messed up the last time. See, look on the left, the bacon is already on at the beginning of the cook time. And our, um, by the time the meatloaf was done, that bacon was... Uh, yeah so yeah we didn't want to do that so <laughs> we didn't put the bacon on in the beginning this time i cooked the meatloaf at 375 for 20 minutes and then i added the bacon i'm using a butter knife to help me get the bacon on here because obviously it's hot inside of the grill and i don't want to touch it so i am adding the bacon and then i did have to take out the temperature probe and then put it back in there be careful that thing is hot so you see i'm using a towel so i put the probe back in there uh, closed the lid and then I reduced the temperature to 360 and then cooked the meatloaf for an additional 20 minutes and here's what it looked like the second go round. Bacon is nice and crispy and not burnt. So you're going to let your meatloaf rest for about 10 minutes and then when you cut into it you are going to see this delicious cheesy gooey melty heaven yes that's the money shot right there so so good and there is your delicious bacon wrapped meatloaf but let's jazz it up a bit let's make a mushroom gravy so i've got some butter some more mushrooms and then i'm going to add in some cream of mushroom soup followed by some chicken broth and then we're gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce and some browning sauce. And that's it. We're gonna stir that together till it's heated through and then it's ready to serve with your meatloaf. Let me tell you, this meatloaf was delicious. Even the burnt bacon meatloaf was good. The kids loved it and they had no problem eating it two days in a row. <laughs> 
So what did you think about this recipe? Well, if you liked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up as it does help out my channel. And if you're here and you're still not subscribed, go ahead and tap that button and click that bell so you know every time that I upload a new video. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye!